Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Jacob Dev. In today's tutorial, we're gonna go through Codium Windsurf Editor, which is another new AI editor that's getting popular. We're gonna talk about how to install it, how to test it, the available uh, options to install on your local PC or desktop, and what are the pros and cons of uh, each method. So that being said, let's get started. So if you go to codium.com uh, and go to the pricing tab, then um, they have different plans and pricing. So ideally, this is cheaper than Cursor AI. Uh, if you are already familiar with that, so um, we gonna test this free plan, which is uh, for individual one seat. Uh, if you click install, uh, they have different options to download. So we're gonna explore and see all the download options and then you should be able to see the uh, methods for Mac, Linux and Windows so just click download for Linux which is what we're gonna demo today so uh, it's available uh, just by doing the apt get update and do a apt get install with all the uh, source list uh, script added so this is very easy to install on your Linux uh, machine which already did so um, and also the other way is to do that uh, through the Visual Studio extension so before we go into the Windsurf IDE we go to the Visual Studio extension so that you know uh, which one uh, is ideal for you so go to um, Visual Studio and code you will see um, you can download the Codium through their Visual uh, Studio extension. Just search for uh, Codium, and should be able to pop up the uh, Codium uh, IDE here uh, extension. So just click install. You should be able to install, and you should see a icon like that. So here's the uh, Codium uh, extension you can use. Uh, but um, there's a few catches if you use the uh, Visual Studio extension method uh, because um, you can see that the model that's available is only for the base model so all the other ones are locked so you cannot use the cloud or uh, GPT um, all these models and the Codium extension is very similar to the continue dev extension which you can also install from the extensions um, uh, basically the extensions and go to the uh, continue dev if you search for continue uh, you should be able to see that uh, continue extension so you can, which you can install so already installed um, if you click the icon, the continue icon, you see continue.dev also supports um, the cloud uh, 3.5 so that and also you can add whatever uh, model you want which is a lot more flexible uh, just for that purpose uh, but both of the extensions should not uh, be able to kind of create files and um, just doing that programming automatically like client or Ader as we talked about in the other videos uh, so basically this is kind of limited to writing code um, so you can see basically just write code and if you want to create a file just click insert terminal you, you can copy it um, at the same time so which uh, is a little bit manual but um, that's how it works so for continue and codium um, they both work this way uh, so the next we're going to talk about the actual Codian IDE so if you prefer to install Codian IDE as we talked about um, we can install it this way and let's go to the actual IDE which following the method we just saw uh, so this is basically the um, Windsurf IDE and the cool thing about the IDE is that um, they basically have um, everything in one place and uh, including the models, the chat, uh, terminals uh, it's very similar to um, the cursor AI uh, if you have used that before um, and also the uh, good part of that is basically can see everything uh, the, those premium models are free to select instead of the studio extension you cannot use those models I think this is probably done by purpose um, so they want to, to use their IDEs so that's why they actually offer all these different uh, premium models that you can use within the IDE for free which uh, 
I also tried some of the uh, prompt here, so if you can see that, um, so this is the same prompt I tried in the Visual Studio extension of the Codium. I also did it here as well, and they're not just uh, creating those scripts, and basically I actually create the files too. This is like Cursor AI or Ader or uh, Climb, right? If you have uh, following my other videos, um, basically it's a very advanced way to uh, build apps on the fly. Uh, which is the AI coder, the actual AI coder. So if you look at the left side, the basic create project and for Node.js they built a uh, note taking app and then they just build a project so you can actually install everything uh, like the npm or nvm and also the uh, other dependencies then you can run that code. So it's very uh, cool if you actually can build something uh, with a free app like that. Right? Um, so if you go to the uh, history, you can see all the past workflows that you created. Um, so it's uh, very easy to use, easy to install, and hopefully um, this is if you don't want to use cursor uh, and want to try something. Thanks for supporting the channel. See you in the next one.